Hey everyone, Scout Master Dave here. Just enjoying a nice, quiet, calm walkabout. And I thought in this episode, I'd teach you how to properly forage for food. There's all kinds of things you can find in this type of environment. Small critters, berries, and mushrooms. Now, I was fortunate enough to come upon some mushrooms on my way over here. Have a look, see at these babies. Oh yeah, look at that. These are very, they don't smell great, but you can eat them. They don't taste very great either, but they're full of nutrients and lots of protein. So we're gonna give these a swallow. And then I'm gonna show you another way to find some food when you're out in the outback. Let's go. Ah, let's have a look over here, shall we? Now behind me here, all this mucky muck is a swamp. And you could find frogs, toads, lizards, turtles, uh, ninja turtles crawling around this environment. And we're gonna leave those critters alone today because I think I've got a, another food source up ahead. But I just want to go ahead and show you the types of things you might be fortunate enough to run into when you're out in the outback. Okay, now just behind the camera, we found what every forager dreams of finding. A house in the suburbs. I was able to give it a little peeky boo. Seems like no one's home. Let's see if fortune smiles upon us. It does. Now if the door's unlocked, it's technically not a B&E. Okay, now this is where the real foraging starts. Yeah, all right. We've got Dave's killer bread, leftovers from Dinny the other night, avocados, kiwis, olives, strawberries. Check this out. They got a Roku and all kinds of streaming services, including HBO Now. Pretty fancy. I've also noticed that the air conditioning unit is on, so I think they'll be home soon. But we're just gonna chill out for a minute. I'm feeling kind of vibey, and um, we're gonna take our chance. Years of insight and expertise. The Hansons are ready to get away from it all, and no matter how far they go, they'll be about ten minutes from a hotel by window. The Morgans found just the change oh, shit. they were looking for. Daryl. Daryl, hey man! What's going on? What's up, Daryl? Susan not tell you I was stopping by? No, she didn't. Well, so I should have I texted her, told her that I was gonna be here, and I don't think you would have been home, I'm sorry, man. She told me just I can uh, help myself to the Let me put this away, I'm sorry. But she didn't run it by me that you were gonna be here. Sorry, mate, miscommunication, you know? Did you actually ask her, or is this like last time when you said you talked to her and she was cool with it? Scout Master Dave here. Listen. Why do you do that? Don't do that. It's just, it's a catchphrase. It's a thing I say, okay? The accent, too. Don't do that shit. Can I get like 500? No! I'm her brother, okay? We let me, talked at, least, about let me this. at least talk to We've her. We've been through this. Let me at least talk with her, okay? We already have tried this before. It doesn't work. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's, let's, I'm so sorry. I'm in your home. You're, you're right. I'm wrong. This thing, this whole Dave, this Scott Master thing was supposed to take off and like, I had a dude, I had a deal, okay? They, the Discovery Channel was gonna pick it up and they did, then they switched management or something and I just fell through the cracks and now I'm back to nothing, okay? And I just, can I get 500 bucks just to make it, just so I can make it out west, you know? Okay. Daryl, please, man. Okay. And don't tell Susie I drop by. I won't. You need a check, cash? Yeah, I'll take cash. Okay. Dude, I'm so sorry to, you know, do this again. So are you gonna, is it like, you gonna go upstairs and get- No, I was lying! Get out! I think I'm gonna my give you $500. My shoes are- Get him and get out! I came in through the back. You shouldn't leave your door unlocked, by the way. Any People can just get in if you- Noted. Thanks again for joining uh, me on my show. Um, tune in next week. I'm gonna teach you how to, uh, Tune in next week, I'm gonna teach you how to weave your own fishing net. Go! Let me just, let me just do the outro, okay? No. Give me like two... In the woods, off my property.
God, you're such a dick, Daryl. Take about 50 steps and then you can do your stupid outro. Is this better? I think I still my property line. Go over that log. Thanks again for joining me on Scoutmaster Dave's walkabout. Tune in next week and we teach you how to weave your own fishing nets.